Hello, alien tubers. Welcome back. We are in mission 18, which I am reliably told we are pretty much at the end of the game. So hopefully, hopefully, maybe we can finish the game today. Oh, I read all right. Oh. I would hurry, but you know. Berlaine, can you hear me? Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here. I'm guessing I'm going this way. No? Okay. Oh, I think they're down here. Stabilizers confirmed. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Not seen a dot Leon. Let me have a proper look at this map. Hang on. Oh, I think we were there. Oh. Ah, there he is. <sighs> and I thought it was going to be easier. <laughs> oh, so wrong. Verlaine, can you hear me? Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here! Thank God, I hear you! I need you to extend the dog radio plans quickly. There are two. Should be close by. Right, should be close by. Fine, okay. Let's have a little look. Right, let's be a bit more methodical. Oh. I see. I was being a silly Billy. Assuming the other one will be over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Oh, really? All right, then, numb nuts. How do I restore the power? I mean, I think, I think the engineer should have been doing a better job at this place, like... Thank you. Their, um, capability to keep power in check is actually abysmal.
I've got to go into here. Oh, hello. Can't say I'm a fan. Ah, music's not helping. Oh. Let's go back the way we came, because we know that route. Yeah, okay. That was just lucky. Oh. I think he's in the vent still. Or it's in the vent still, should I say. It must be. If there's any problem with the motion tracking, you don't know whether it's on the same level as you or not. Judging by how slowly it's moving, I wouldn't have thought so, but again, music is not helpful. Because realistic, I should be seeing it. Do you know what? Worst case, I've got my flamethrower. Okay, I think it's the terminal I was at before. Oh, shit. Same one that got me bloody last time. Gotcha. Relaying the docking clamps are engaging. Okay, Upper control room, right, okay. That's the room at the back. Before we do that, I'm gonna go save. Thing is, there's that much noise everywhere in the station now. I'm pretty sure the aliens, sure the aliens should be quite confused, but I'm not. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not taking that chance. All right, let's save because that was um, <clears throat> that was a bit of work. I think it's the room at the back. 
By the way, I apologise if you can hear a fan, by the way. I've got a fan going in the room because it is warm. Like, really warm today. It's like 27. It's ridiculously hot. And my house is pretty in the shade, actually. Um, so, yeah, take from that what you will. Upper control room, I'm assuming that means go up. Ooh. Bit late to be finding scrap rep. I'm just very aware that the alien could be here, so and I don't re I really wouldn't want to meet it on a stairway. Right, let's yeah, let's build some. Uh, well, one med kit, I guess. God, we're not doing very well for resources at all. Flamethrower fuel, yeah. Relaine, there is no personnel umbilical. It's long gone. What? Wait, I think I can use the maintenance rig instead. If I can yes. find an EVA suit, I can still get to you. Be right. careful, Ripley. That's it. Okay. Again, just in case we get jumped. I'm guessing we've got to go back down. Is there a save point in here? Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, I'll still save. Pretty sure no matter where I go, there's going to be uh, hostels nearby. I mean, I believe I'm going the right way. Okay, I think we've got to go back to where we started because that's where the EVA suits are were, if you remember. Ooh. I saw a second dot.
I think there's two of them. I think there's two of them. Okay, that should lock me off any problems at least. <laughs> oh, whenever you should get to see this. No. No. Oh god. Ow, 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 ow. Wow. Now I know with a cucumber and a spin dry, so it feels like. Let me have a. Oh, we've been captured. Oh God, no, we're, we're all strung up. God, they're already building another fucking nest. Fuck. We, we did all this, we burnt it. They built another one already. Ugh. It was kind enough not to take me, uh... It was kind enough not to take my, uh... Weapons away, I guess. Ugh. Okay, I can do that, that's fine. I had a funny feeling I could. Oh, we're back here. We've only just done this. They built all this in that time. This is where I got jumped. Oh, the flamethrower. Whoa, 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 whoa. Horrible, you gotta hear it. I should have saved. I should have saved. Oh, I, I, it does save, okay. Thank Googly Moogly for that. But I didn't say be picking up my flamethrower fuel though. Speaking of which. else I can use. Let's have a look. No, I've got no Molotovs, of course. Uh, it is going to be the flamethrower. Oh, there's more fuel there, though. Jesus. I really need to start looking around more. There's even more there. Jesus. How did I walk past that? I don't know why you guys put up with me sometimes. Honestly, I'm such a dingus.
Okay. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch to the revolver only because we, as far as we know, the flamethrower is the only thing that can stop the alien and make it leg it. If that's the case, I'd rather shoot these things and keep the fuel. Not that it's not trying to max me out on it or anything, but... Where did that come from? <sighs> Where the hell did that come from? I can only tell this is going to be annoying. Maybe I should just use the flamethrower and just not be stupid. I just don't want to burn it, literally burn it all away and then I regret it later, that's all. But it does seem that they're intent on me using it, so... Even more there. I think the danger is that you could potentially overuse it. I guess. Okay, that's those two dealt with. It must come from behind. Which, if it is, that's bullshit. If it's coming from behind, that is bull. I think I got that one. Fine. I'll try again, shall we? Right, I know there's definitely two that come down here. Here they come. That is such bullshit. The fact that it comes from behind you, that is such bull. Okay, these have all been opened, I think. But I still need to be wary. Sure, I have one. Okay. 
Bullshit. Bullshit. Absolutely fucking spot on. I knew there was more than one. I knew there was more than one back there. Knew it. Really are putting me through my paces. Sorry about that. I had to go and uh, soothe my son. He was just, uh, I think he woke himself up. Okay, we've just uh, had a, I think it was like a floor crash down on us. Please give me a save point soon. Because I really don't want to do that while again. No? Damn. Must be feeling generous. Can't go that way. I thought the transports were my friend. That was 
the most nerve-wracking thing I think I've done in this game. Period. Wow. That was really intense. And I really, really, really want a save point. Please. <laughs> Don't make me go in the vent. Today, Satan. I saw you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we're not doing the whole circle vent thing. No, 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 no. Tell me where the exit is and I'll be on my merry way. There it is. Again? No. Oh. No, 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 no. Right, uh, please wait. To be fair, I think this has been auto saving, you know. Please don't do that again. Thank you. Jesus, that was that was really cool actually. That was really cool, but Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's a map there. Why? We need a map for space, apparently. Also, my health is like nothing.
Right, where am I going? Uh, over there, okay. Literally just big chunks of Sevastopol are just being ripped off now. And I must say, I actually do quite like these um, spacewalk bits. They're quite, in a way, they're quite relaxing. I knew there was more one than one hunter me in this mission. I knew it. Uh, we've got a. Oh, this is like a pulley, I think. Yeah. I knew there was more than one hunter me. I saw it for. It was literally half a second. It was literally a second blip on the. Um, motion tracker and I knew that I know that androids are pretty much out of it now so and there's no humans about it the alien wouldn't allow that so I knew there was more than one and there had to be and then when I saw the two of them I was like unbelievable cool but wow oh, I mean, while we're walking up here let me, let me have a drink of me tea <clears throat> this has been a cool mission. I've enjoyed this one. Like, really cool mission. I've enjoyed it. It's like it's got twists, it's got turns, it's got a bit of narrative. I like it. I like it a lot. button that needs a it needs a card but generally it's, uh, comes with one I mean at least out here I'm relatively safe right I don't know how Sevastopol's lasted this long, if I'm being perfectly honest. Ah. This is cool, because this, this is like the first film. Because... <clears throat> Ripley uses a device like this in the first movie. It's very much mirroring her um, her adventure, isn't it? Because again, we only assumed there was a single alien organism on the uh, on the um, Nostromo. I'm sure there probably only was one, but you just don't know, do you? One's enough. I mean, we assumed there was one on here because of the title isolation, but the fact that we found that we found an entire well, two nests now, one literally crawling with face huggers. Oh God. <clears throat> Whoa! I saw that! No way! They're spacefaring as well? Three of them? Four? There was at least four there. There must have been at least four. Oh god. Yeah, the Sevastopol past its warranty period, right?
Okay. So the torrent should be free now. Because that was the point of this. Verlaine, I'm on my way up to the bridge. Oh, we're on the Verlaine. Okay, we're not. We're on the Verlaine. <laughs> we're on the Verlaine. No, we're on the uh, the Torrens. Uh, okay. It's very quiet. I'm just glad to be off the bloody Sevastopol. Jesus. Motion tracker, no? Anything? No? Okay. Apparently we lost everything. I don't think I'm going the right way. Or not. Can I change it at least? No? Okay. Relaine? Oh. Hello? Oh my! It's here as well. It must have killed the lion and the crew. Oh, you absolute bastard. I was looking forward to meeting her again. One must have flung off Sevastopol onto the onto the onto the Verlaine again. Oh no! Is that it? That's it. Guys, Alien Isolation is finally over. Oh my word. Oh. I feel really conflicted about that. I mean, it's a cool ending, but it's a really lacklustre one. Mm. I'm conflicted. Now, we know Amanda lives because she's in the comics. And also, there's talk she's talked about in Aliens. Um, and she lives till... I think she lives till she's 65 or 60. I can't remember, but I remember... When Ellen Ripley Destroyed. goes to which one's the aliens one? Is it Salako? I think it's the Salako. She finds out about Amanda, and that because obviously she's been in uh, she's been in space for like fifty years or whatever, fifty three years, whatever it is, and that makes sense because she goes missing when Amanda's quite young. Because she's in hypersleep, isn't she, for 50 odd years? And then obviously, Amanda. She, she always got found by someone because there was a light on her face when uh, she got. Uh, when she was floating, floating in space. And we could assume that it wasn't the company because the company wouldn't let her live after that. No way. Guys, I'm conflicted about this game. I love, I love it. I really, I've enjoyed it. It's been great. But. God, it's too long. It's too long. I could have cut about four missions from that, maybe even five, and I wouldn't have minded. But for what it is, it's phenomenal. It is, especially at the beginning, before you get any proper weapons. Before you get the, see, the turning point for me is when you get the flamethrower, because that makes you powerful, and it means you can actually fight the alien a little bit. Now. That being said, I don't think for a second that this game loses any of its sort of dread or its horror. 
the problem. I mean, is Ripley going to go just do some hip hop beat down or can I, you know? Okay, fine. So the dread is always there because the alien it's a one shot kill. It's a one-shot kill, and sometimes the save points are so far apart, like so far apart, that getting killed is more stressful than you th than, than than actually seeing the alien. But I do think the first say hour, no, a bit longer than that, but the first two or three hours is very much the pinnacle of what this game is trying to do and it's trying to make you dread everything also I can't believe they got I think pretty much all the cast from the original alien to do this that's incredible At least I think, I mean, there was definitely, Scotty Weaver was definitely doing something for this because we heard her. And I'm sure there was some other voice at the start, or near the start. Anyway, look, as a game that induces stress and panic, this is fantastic. If this is your thing, it's kind of mine, but I like those sort of experiences to be quite short. And I like a little bit of reprieve. The problem with this game is there's no reprieve ever. You never feel safe, but you do feel powerful, especially near the end of the game where you've got all your gear. That being said, near the end of the game, you don't see as many synthetics as humans, but I remember there was a mission, maybe last mission or the mission before, where I was just blasting my way through humans, no problem at all. I had enough shotgun shells to just blast my way through. And I think I got through about four or five humans without needing any sort of assistance. I'm pretty gutted, if I'm honest, that... Well, everyone we meet dies. Um, because obviously you've got Ricardo, he gets uh, face-hugged. Axel gets killed at the start by the alien. You've got, uh, obviously, Valena and her crew. You've got Taylor. You've got um, Marlo, the chief... Yeah. This is a really good game. My only other little criticism of it, I think, is some of the missions start getting very repetitive very quickly. I was very excited to go to the nest. When we got to the nest, I also didn't know I was coming, but when we got to the nest, I was really excited because it was something very different, and it turned out it wasn't. It was very much the same. It was go here, do that, then go here and do that, and then get out of there. It was very much very similar. Now, the problem is you can't really do a lot more in a game like this because you are on your own. I don't know. It's an interesting one, but I feel very conflicted. Um, I, 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 I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I genuinely dreaded putting the disc in and recording an episode because I knew I was going to be in for an hour of pure just panic. Um, yeah, I, I liked it. I, I, I'd say what? Seven out of ten, maybe? I think graphically it was great. I think for the time especially, it looked really good. Um... I love the little nods to the original film. Because every Alien game now is, is about aliens. And I said this in the, in, the, in the previous app, I think it was, where it's nice to have something that's based on its own story or not based on aliens. It's based on Alien instead. It's the follow-up. And I like that. There's not enough recognition about that first film. Um... I like the tie-in with the with her daughter. The fact that this is the pretty much, unless you read the comics, this is going to be the only way you'd learn about her, like properly, because she doesn't really feature in the movies, as far as I know. Yeah, I like this. It's enjoyable. Would I play it again? Yeah, definitely. Probably not soon, because you know I I need to, you know, go take some sedatives, but. <laughs> 
but I've enjoyed playing it. And to be honest, I've tried to play this game. I said this at the start of the Let's Play. I've tried to play this game a couple of times. I just couldn't get into it. But I really do think doing it for the channel and recording it actually, because it kind of forces me to finish it. And generally, I always do, unless I'm really not enjoying a game or something technical has happened. I pretty much always finish a game, and I have really enjoyed finishing this one. That last mission was great. It was full of a, uh, it had some action. You had a couple of jump scares with the trams at the end, and then you had um, loads of story. So yeah, I love that. I thought it was brilliant. I love the soundtrack to these films as well, these games, because it's just, it's beautiful, but it's, it's just enough on, of unsettling. It's that, like, it's amazing. It's genuinely incredible what they did with the first film and that soundtrack. So it's like a heartbeat, you've got the boom. Boom, 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 boom. It's like a heartbeat. It starts quite skittish and, you know, quite happy. And then suddenly it's like, doom, 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 doom. It's like you got that thump in the background. It's really effective. Oh, that's cool. Creative Assembly production babies. I'm assuming these are all the babies that were born... While the game was being made. Damn. That's really cool, actually. I like that. See, that's cool as well. Nodding the original creators. <clears throat> yeah, without those four people, Alien wouldn't exist. Not in the form we see it now. <clears throat> and it's such a big deal. Yeah, till they, till they start wearing a rubber suit, yeah. That was incredible. I enjoyed that. Um, again, probably one of the better horror games I've played, just because it actually was quite unnerving. It wasn't scary, but it was unnerving. And I felt very uncomfortable playing it, which is good. That's what it wants. So... I want to thank you guys for watching it. I know it's been a long Let's Play, and I know it's been longer than it probably should have been. Uh, I'm going to try my best now that the summer holidays are over, because I'm recording this on September the 4th. Um, now the holidays are over, and I get my sort of Mondays and Tuesdays back uh, off work, I'm going to try and get a few episodes ahead at a time so that it doesn't take this long. So I think we started this back in June. And that's not that's not on. <laughs> it's a long time, you know. But then again, one episode a week, yeah, it's 18 missions, 18 weeks. I suppose, yeah, sounds about right, but no, it shouldn't be that long. So I'm going to plow on with Crash and my next game, which I hope you will find much pleasure in. And um, I thank you so much for joining me for Alien Isolation. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I've enjoyed this. Like I said, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I'd play it again, but when I've, you know, when my heart rate's back to normal. So uh, thank you very much for listening to me through the credits. I always like to play the credits because I think it's good to thank the people, uh, you know, commemorate the people that have actually made the game. And if you've enjoyed this Let's Play, share the playlist. I'd love to see it over over social net media if you if you if you enjoy it. It could only help me out. So um, yeah, that's it. GK plays signing off. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.